Well, hello okay, again everyone. You might remember this uh, nameplate I did for, for little Mia's room that went a bit wrong and we had some uh, problems with the finish peeling off. Well, we're not going to give up on this. We're going to have another go at it. And uh, the first thing I think is just to sand off completely the previous design. sanded off and we've gone through all the paint and uh, got all the traces of mill scale off it as well so uh, I'm hoping I can recoat this uh, with uh, black again and then we'll redo the sign I'm not sure what design we'll do we probably won't do exactly the same design that's uh, a bit boring isn't it we might do something slightly different but it'll still be a room nameplate thingy for a couple of weeks we've been doing some other stuff but it's time now to get back to it and uh, still got our plate in a nice uh, black finish so I'm now going to sand that off a little bit uh, not sure what to use let's have a look and see what we've got I've decided I'm going to use a little bit of the old red scotch bright uh, someone did recommend this. Apparently this is equivalent to something like uh, 300 grit, so it's quite coarse. But uh, of course, you'll not see much of this black anyway, so even if we go through a little bit, it shouldn't matter. But we're not aiming to do that, we just want to give a key to the paint. That's probably enough, I guess. Don't want to go uh, crazy. Well, this is the lacquer I've got, and uh, you might remember I've had some problems with this this lacquer, with uh, the rosy painting and the bee painting, but uh, I've still got plenty of it. I've ordered some more uh, of the uh, original stuff I was using again, but uh, I'm not sure the lacquer was the problem. Um, I think it's probably more to do with drying times and application. So I'm going to try again with this anyway. So I'll fire up the uh, extract, put my respirator on, and let's give this a dust coat. Now while that uh, dries, I'm just going to adjust my compressor down. So 
to about well we found about 10 psi was about right last time didn't we so That's uh, a bit for luck. <laughs> Leave it at that. And I'm sticking with the Hemway pink metal flake that I used before. A light coat of clear lacquer. Followed by a rather heavier one. And then on with the metal flake. I haven't quite got the coverage I want on the bottom there, so I add a little bit more lacquer and then a little bit more metal flake. Of course, the advantage of dry flake application is that you can collect up any oversprayed flakes and just put them back in the packet for use next time. And then of course, more clear over the top of our flake. Now, I thought that was looking quite good last night. It's looking quite well, but uh, when you feel it, it does still feel quite rough. So I don't think we've really buried the flake enough. And we need to bury it because obviously we're going to sand off that top uh, clear coat for the design. And uh, if the flake's sticking up through, then we'll end up sanding the flake and we'll sand uh, the colour off the flake. So. I'm going to need to bury that a little bit more. And don't forget, there's a selection of my paintings available on my Etsy shop. I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, well it's several days later, it's probably uh, three or four days later. We've had a whole weekend in between me uh, re-clearing this and uh, now, so it's nicely uh, hardened up. You can still feel some texture to it, but uh, now I'm going to try and flatten it off with some 600 grit wet and dry paper. Right, well, next thing is to transfer this text. Uh, I've chosen a slightly different font this time. I'm going to use a graphite paper to transfer it onto this hypermask material, uh, which I can then cut the letters out of and put them onto the uh, sign itself.
Right, now I'm going to transfer those letters onto the board roughly in the middle-ish. Now that's done, it's time to start uh, laying some tape on this. I haven't quite made up my mind what sort of design I'm going to do yet, but it might just be a simple border, I think. I think I'm going to keep this one nice and uh, sophisticated and simple, I think. Now, for the pattern in the center, I'm gonna to attempt to do some lace work where you spray the candy through the lace. And uh, I've got some lace here, which has got like a, a gold plasticky coating on it. So I think that would be quite good to spray through. And uh, I'm gonna try and hold it onto the plate with the magnets. Let's have a go. Now I'm going to mix up some uh, candy orange and spray it through that lace, not too close, I don't want to blow the lace around even though it's uh, quite tightly magneted to that steel. So I'm going to do it from a fair distance and get some nice coverage over there to bring that pattern of the roses through. Well, that was the Auto Air Candy 2.0. So that's a water-based candy. So it should dry pretty quick, but even so, I'm gonna leave it a few minutes before I remove the lace and have a look, see how it's turned out. Well, it's worked. I don't know how clear it really is going to be that they are roses, but nevertheless, it should make for quite a nice uh, funky design, I suppose. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mask off these two stripes here, because I want these to be in a contrasting colour. So I'm going to do those last, but uh, what I'm going to do is mask them and then go in with the black. I'm going to go black around the edge and then I'll just touch in black around these edges as well. And obviously we'll do quite a heavy black around the lettering. tape because what I want to do is put a solid uh, pink colour in there I think.
now I'll leave that to dry just a little bit, make a cup of tea, and then we'll uh, remove the tape before the paint gets too uh, set. Oh, there we go there is the uh, finished design of course it needs clear coating I'm not sure the rose lace pattern came out particularly well but I quite like the uh, the pattern that it has left so that's okay so yeah hopefully our clear coat will go well and then uh, Mia can have this on her door now, a few people have mentioned warming the tins of lacquer up before I spray the final clear coat. So uh, I'm going to warm them up with uh, a bucket of uh, warmish water. I'm also going to warm uh, the plate up a little bit by putting it just on top of the boilers for a little while. And I'm also going to put a quick flash over the back of it just to protect the back. probably uh, a good 24 hours to dry. It's about this time yesterday that I put the last clear coat on the front. So now we're going to give it a bit of a, a rub down as usual with the wet and dry from 1000 down to 2500. Then I go with the cutting paste and the polish and see how much of a nice shine we can get on it. Well, there we go. There it is, all polished up. I wonder if there's uh, enough bling in there to uh, satisfy young Mia. Also got some uh, nice little dome head chrome screws to uh, fix it on a bedroom door for her. If you enjoyed it press like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new